there's one area that people always want to try to cut corners on to try to cut cost, but it's the area that's going to cost them the most if they do. I'm Corey Foster of Valen Corporation. Let's turn to our Michael Renault about cable management and see what we can learn. A very important factor to keep in mind when sizing your gantry system is the cable management and cable lengths you'll need. If you think about it, we're going to need cables to span throughout every axis of motion. Starting with the theta, we have to go through the Z axis, through the Y, and then even through our X to get to our end. And this is because the cables are going to be bending and flexing with every axis of motion. And it's very important to have organized cables. And with these cable carriers, we're able to keep the cables organized and utilizing high flex cables, we're able to help increase the cable's life. When doing our custom cable management systems, one of the things that we're able to account for is additional cables that our customers may have. In this particular case, we are adding extra space in the system so our customer can run air hose system to their custom end effector. Thank you, Michael. So this is probably making you wonder why cable management actually matters. Well, messy cables. Messy cables aren't fun to work with. They're not fun to look at. But more importantly, they can lead to pinched cables and worn insulation. And that leads to the worst kind of problems you can have, which are intermittent problems. Intermittent problems may change with the speed, the distance, the location, the temperature, or all of the above. And you can't find any rhyme or reason to them. And they'll just literally make you pull your hair out and you really want to avoid them at all costs. So don't skip on the cable management. I'm Corey Foster of Valen Corporation. I hope this helps.